internet friends. Welcome to Beards, Tattoos, Video Games, episode 16? 16! I don't know. I don't what number we what? We can drive! Woo! <laughs> We're legal to drive now, boys. Without a permit. With, yeah, without a yeah. permit. Yeah. Like, by ourselves, even. Without no mm -hmm. present. Whoa. Present. Whoa. That's pretty cool, bro. That's pretty cool. Anyway. That is pretty cool. How was your week? So what'd you guys do? What'd you play? What'd you party with? Um, I played lots of Destiny, which I'll talk about later on in the Destiny. show. Hmm. I played a lot of League, <clears throat> which we'll talk about later on the show. <laughs> yeah. We, we always talk about League of Legends. Because it's uh, Esports Titan, and we talk about Esports. Speaking of that, LLCS is back, baby! woo, -woo! Oh. So yeah, we uh, we broadcasted and streamed our fantasy LCS picks and draft earlier in the week, the other day. We did that on Friday. Last night. We did that Two nights on ago. Friday. On Friday. We did it on Friday. It was pretty fun. <laughs> Not gonna we lie. We did it. We're the best. We're the best, man. We did it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> Dignitas. Was, yeah, of course you picked Dignitas. <laughs> Dignitas is what I picked. Picked everybody on Dignitas. What else would you have picked? I would have, what else? I might have picked somebody that wasn't Dignitas, maybe. It, but no, because you needed to. I didn't. Well, I mean, I gotta pick. I gotta pick bench players, so I mean, I have to pick not Dignitas players sometimes. But can't you just pick their bench? I mean, I could. They don't think they have a bench. Yeah, they have uh, Cloud Win and somebody else. Ah. Uh. Hmm. They don't think they have a bench. Yeah, they have. Uh, Cloud Win. I, I mean, see. I totally could have, but I didn't. Anyway, yeah. let's talk about what's happening in the LCS this week. Nathan, oh, <laughs> yeah. Stop okay, so that shit started. <laughs> I was playing Clicker Heroes, actually. Uh, <laughs> yesterday was the first day of NA. Do you want to talk about EU? Um, we can give a brief rundown on who won, who lost. All right, let me find that shit. Uh, all right, so the first game was Unicorns of Love and Fnatic. Rematch of last year's finale. Unicrons. Uh, Unicrons. Uh, Fnatic won. That game was, was pretty fun to watch. Good game. That's the only game actually I watched of the EU LCS because uh, I like both those teams. Yeah, because of Unicrons and Hooney. Yeah, so. Unicron, Unicrons are, are mine. The, that's my team. My team. Yeah, they lost. So they lost. You care. <laughs> <laughs> the the second did. game was Giants Gaming versus Origin, and I believe Origin is the team with uh, X Pancake, right? Yeah, Sex Peke. He's Sex Peke. Actually, X Pancake is a person on NA, so you can't call him that. So, <laughs> Sex Peke uh, is, the, is the team that he started. Right. Um, game three on on Thursday was Elements and Gambit. Elements won with the, their new lineup. They got Dexter in the jungle now. Dexter. Uh, Looking pretty good, I guess. Yeah, uh, Gambit, <laughs> and he also he also has that show where he's a scientist, so he's you know he's doing multiple things. Yeah, well, um, that sounds bad. I wouldn't do that. Being a scientist. Keep going. Uh, so Keep going. next game was H two K Rocat. Uh, H two K won that game. The game, the last game of day one in EU was SK and Copenhagen Wolves. Copenhagen Wolves uh, took the victory, actually. Surprisingly. The Copenhagen SK, Wolves? SKT was in... Or SK Gaming, not SKT. Uh, SK was in the playoffs last split, and then they lost, and then Forgiven went to Gambit. So, um, cool. I don't know. Interesting. That's that's, that's a shake-up. Right yeah. There. Day two of EU, Origin H2K. Origin won again, so they're 2-0. and oh, And they're... Uh, looking pretty good, I guess. It's really hard to tell because you know it's fucking the first week, so yeah. who knows? Um, the next game was Giants Gaming and Copenhagen Wolves. Giants Gaming won, so they're one and one. Copenhagen Wolves is one and one. Game Game Three was Brocat versus Gambit Gaming, and Gambit lost, so they're zero and two. And I'm kind of surprised because, like I said, Forgiven's on their squad now. Didn't, and didn't Edward leave Gambit though? No, Edward's still no. Edward's still there. He just changed his name. Oh, he changed yeah, it to Gosu cool. Pepper, that's and cool. it's I don't understand why. Like it's super confusing. 
because people like the announcers are like, "Oh, Edward." I mean, Gosu. Like, uh, this I don't know, silly. Yeah, it's it's Edward. I don't know. I think it's the second name change. Uh, sure, something before he was Edward. I don't know. I have no idea. uh, My uh, stat team looked that up, and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, sounds good. (laughs) The fourth game was Fnatic versus SK. Fnatic won again. Putting them at 2 0. So they're looking good, picking up right where they left off. And the last game of EU was Elements and Unicrons of Love. The Unicrons won. So they're 1 1 along with Elements. So. Yeah, Unicron. Looking good. Unicrons of Love. Um, now for NA, day one, it was Cloud9 versus TSM, a uh, rematch of the finale of last year, finals. And uh, Cloud9 took the victory. It was looking a little surprising. It was the debut of Incarnation, their new mid lane that replaced High. Uh, he did okay, I guess. Like he he died a lot, or he just got kind of shit on in lane because Bjergsen's a god. He played Victor, by the way. I think it was the first victory we've seen. Um, so yeah, but Cloud9 ended up pulling the victory out. That was good for them. The next game was Team Dragon Knights versus Team Liquid. Team Dragon Knights is the new team, one of the new teams to come in. Uh, from the promotion tournament, I don't know if they, I don't know if they replaced Coast or if they replaced um, Winter Fox. But Doesn't matter. They're both replaced. They, they, yeah, they beat Winter Fox in the promotion. Okay, so they're in. That's uh, with Alex Itch's team. He's on that team, so they're notable for, I guess. Mm-hmm. But anyways, they lost because they suck. They lost to uh, Liquid, so that's good. The next game uh, was Counter Logic Gaming versus Dignitas. CLG took the win. Dig- didn't give up a tower actually, so that was like good on them. Even though the top lane tower was at one HP, and they never went back. Dignitas never went back to just last hit it. I don't know. I mean, that's good on CLG's part, I guess, to like keep their attention up there to keep the you know the minions from crashing into it or anything. So all I'm saying. Really glad that our fantasy points didn't start this week. Otherwise, <laughs> zero points in that first game. Yeah. Oh, for the first game. They but did not look they, very good. Didn't they annihilate today's game? Hey, man, you're getting ahead of the game. Like, I'll get there. Still day one. Uh, game four, day one, Team 8 versus Team Impulse. Uh, team Impulse took the victory, and that was the game Impact played top lane Yasuo against Anar, with, and he took... The fucking Bammy Cinder. He started. He built that. I think. I don't know if he finished this the Sunfire Cape or not. But it was kind of like people were like, "What the hell? He's gonna build Cinder Hulk?" But he didn't take Smite, so he can't buy the jungle item. Yeah. And so yeah, he was just stuck with the the Bammy Cinder, and he did good. Like he they won the game, so yeah. good for them. <laughs> he, he he wanted he wanted the Cinder Hulk, but mm, he just forgot Smite like a noob. Yeah. I, I, I'm pretty sure that that was a misplay on his part. I think he wanted to take Smite with him, but he just didn't because he's a baby. He's a dingus and he forgot. He's a baby. He's a dingus and he forgot. Uh, the last game on day one was Gravity versus Enemy Esports, the other new team to come in. They I, they just got straight in because yeah, of Coast. They, they qualified because they won the promotion tournament. Right, so they they actually won. They beat Gravity. Um, Gravity's bringing in a new team, a new lineup because they replaced Cop with Alltech, and then they Saint Vicious retired. And I don't, I can't remember their jungler's name, but they got a new jungler as well. I think he's a Korean jungler. I'm not sure. Saint Vicious but retired? uh, you didn't know that? I did not know that Saint Vicious retired. Good, he's just coming back. Yes, sir. He retired, and now Cop, since he stepped down, he's now the coach. Uh, so he does like picks and bands with the team and stuff. So that's, cool. that's kind of cool. Yeah, so that was day one. Day two, which is currently going on so far, we've had Team Liquid versus Team Eight. Team Liquid uh, crushed. Actually, it was I was watched a little bit of it, and then I had to go to the storage or in the middle. And I, uh, for a minute, I thought Team Eight was going to pull out the victory, but I guess Liquid came back. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't see that part. So didn't watch. So yeah. Any of the games except for the next one. Um, the next one is Team Dignitas versus Cloud9, Dig, and awesome. everybody's thinking Cloud9, man. Here we go. They're gonna, they're gonna, they beat TSM. They must be super good. 
So, okay, the, and... the fan vote was 92% to 8% in Cloud9's favor. Yeah, Let's it was kind of real quick. Kind of ridiculous. And uh, Dignitas pulls off the victory. They didn't give up a tower either. So what happened to them yesterday, they, they did to Cloud9 today. So And, uh, yeah, by, me and Bobby were talking about this. By, by the process of the League Gods, uh, CLG beat Dignitas, who beat Cloud9, who beat TSM. CLG, best team NA. Boom. You heard of her first, folks. Not Dignitas? Yeah. No, they, no they, they lost to CLG. CLG. Oh, gotcha. Well, Dignitas is the best <laughs> team in the world, but in NA, <laughs> CLG is number one. Uh, Damn, the CLG uh, game's over. Um, the next game, wait, I just clicked it, was the one that was currently on Team Impulse versus the CLG. Uh, it just ended. I didn't see. I'm pretty sure CLG won, but I don't know. Who looks happy? Let's. <laughs> I, it's hard. I don't know. Zyrene's doing, like, breakdowns on the fucking board with the touchscreen, so oh. I don't know. So who knows? I'll, t- I'll uh, as soon as I figured out figure that out. I I'll let you rewind know. that later. Yeah. Uh, the next game is Team Solo Mid versus Enemy Esports. I mean, obviously you think TSM is gonna win, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes because Enemy won yesterday against Gravity, nonetheless. But uh, you never know, man. This league's the craziest game. And then the last game of the day is Team Dragonites versus Gravity. So yeah. That is. That's. It. Super cool. Super deep, or deep. All right, well, that's our LCS rundown. Yeah. So Lots of fun stuff. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, we are not done. Uh, let's run some some uh some news, I guess, or whatever. Some 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 nuges. Nuges. Um. Ted Nuges. Some nuges. Ted Nuges. Ted Nugent is America's um, America, and he's Ted Nugent, so America. That's Fun fact: I saw I saw Ted Nugent and Kiss at my first concert ever. So, Let's talk about that's, cool. that's cool. That is pretty. <laughs> he shot a guitar cool. with a bow and arrow, and I was like, "Man, that guy's awesome." That's, that's <laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, PS Plus and uh, Xbox Gold games um, this month. Because it's Some the last day uh, in May, so yeah, that's why hey, what do you say? Yeah. Go lay in some hay. I just may. <laughs> sorry. Are you gonna tell us or what? Slash palm. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I was slash palming. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Okay, let's see. PlayStation Plus, Metal Gear Solid Five Ground Zeroes Woo, is. Because I didn't play that game yet. Get to play it for free now. So I I have this. I already have it. <laughs> what am sure I gonna do with this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm showing you're it gonna, to you. You're going to put it in and then download the game for free. <laughs> uh, but but you know what's cool? This is the This is like this is like a collector's edition version of it though. So I have a cool different case thing for it. We'll this looks cooler, right? You're look, balling. look, look, look. There's even there's even the the ill-fated Kojima. <laughs> that is yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so, Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, it's pretty fun. And uh, Kiefer Sutherland does a kick ass job with, with uh, Snake's voice. Well, I, he I is, just like him. He is the Keef, bro. The Keef, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what else is out for PS Plus? Skulls and Shotgun Bonafide Edition. Oh, I see what they did there. Yeah. I don't know what that game is. Uh, I'm downloading it right now. Ha! Ah, just kidding. Uh, there's, so those are the PS4 titles. PS Vita titles this month are um, Super Exploding Zoo oh. and <laughs> and Futuridum EP Deluxe. So Super Vita. Exploding Zoo, huh? Vita, right? Yeah. Vita. <laughs> hey, hey, the way uh-huh. I look at it is what Colin Moriarty said. He said, Sony's not going to support the Vita, so we have to. So go get a Vita. Right? Go get a Vita. Go get a Vita, Rita. Go, go get a Vita. Dang it, Rita. Get a Vita. Boom. Hey. Boom. <laughs> should, we should be their fucking new, their new spokesperson hey, for on. the Vita. Right okay. okay. He's going to go get his Vita, isn't he? Anyway, continuing. PS3 games are Cloudberry Kingdom and Qual, Call of Juarez Gunslinger. Vita! I'll just... You can see all right, here. Yeah. That's not a Vita. 
As a matter of fact, <laughs> oh my God. you guys play the, the show. I'm going to play some games. Shut up. Actually, all right. It's not even charged right now. Actually, anyway, so, anyway. so those all come out on Tuesday, June 2nd, so two days from now. So go download them. It's good stuff. Um, Xbox Games with Gold uh, includes two from Square Enix and Double Fine's latest. Um, so but Pool still finds... Nation FX returns to Xbox One. Uh huh. Um, and uh, Double Fine's Kickstarter project, Massive Chalice. Oh, sick! I thought you were gonna say fucking Broken Agent. I was gonna be so mad. I was like, nope. I just bought that game. Nope, Massive Chalice. <laughs> that looks really fun, actually. Let's see, know. what else? Just Cause 2 is on Xbox 360. Oh, that game's awesome. Have you ever played um, that game? I have. I have it on my computer. Oh, it's so good. Like the multiplayer the grab, the hook. Oh. The multiplayer add on so good. Uh, and uh, that's the first part of the month is Just Cause 2 on 360. And the second part of the month on 360 is Thief. Ooh. Oh, good. Cause that game's How old is that game? Because that, that game's like not even a year old. Oh, really? Yeah. It was, it was, it was, way older. It was on PSN Plus, like three months ago yeah i have it on my computer i played it for 10 minutes i'm like i'm bored yep game that wasn't good bored game sucked <laughs> didn't like it uh, so a lot of people apparently liked it but i didn't so that that was a waste of 40 bucks for me yeah it's not good man it's no good <laughs> no no it's not good it's not good uh so no, nate do you have any xbox it. news no no xbox I do. news do you? I do. Oh, all right. Um, you never Xbox, <laughs> Xbox I had like two news. Users who own Halo Master Chief Collection played it the first week of uh, that it was released. Uh, check your inbox because you have a code to download uh, Halo Three ODST campaign onto your Master Chief Collection. Go download well, it. Well. That still doesn't work. Do it. Hey, I don't. I haven't played ODST for Xbox One. Is it broken? It's just it, campaign. The campaign has never been broken for the that The campaign's game. so good. The that game's awesome. Campaign, the campaign was never broken for any of those games when it came For out. any like, of all them. All of them were all broken in online, so... So, no, 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 but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if they were broken online or not, because if you're just playing the campaign, it doesn't matter, If right? you're playing Halo for the campaign, then you're probably going to get made fun of, because who does that? I do with Miranda. Fuck you. Yeah, Fucking got him. I'm just saying, I don't even... Don't You're an asshole. asshole. I don't even play. You're Halo. an asshole, Bobby. Suck, suck it, because I don't even play Halo. It's a bad game. Not fun anymore. Oh dang! Fuck anyway, fucking fight anyway, words. If you didn't have Master Chief Collection the first week it was out and don't have a free code for it, it's only five bucks, which is a totally reasonable price. <laughs> so they saved everybody five dollars. So if you played it the first week, what a deal! You save yeah. five dollars. Otherwise, it's just five bucks to buy the ODST campaign. I think that's awesome. Good on you, Microsoft, for releasing that for only five dollars. Good on you. Five dollars. <laughs> no, five. Go get a fucking foot long for that that's, instead. That's that's good that they're not making everybody pay for it. I guess. Yeah. But... Okay. So, uh, other other section of uh, Xbox news. You know how the lovely PlayStation Four controller has this headphone jack port. We love mm -hmm. the headphone jack port, right? It's awesome. It's great. Uh, the nothing. the Xbox One controller, which I don't think I have one. Of, oh, I do have one in my room. Your baby's holding her face. Here. So this, however, this controller does not have a headphone jack port. It has this weird port thing. It's like an HDMI port. Okay. But come June, this next month, uh, any controller from Xbox made after June 15th is going to feature a headphone port. Cool. Cool, cool, right? So... Anyway, yeah. Um, that's Greg Miller's dog. Anyway, that's going to be the newest <laughs> update for the Xbox One controller is a headphone port, and it's going to be great. You're going to be great. We'll find out more about it at E3. Yeah, we... Do you have any E3 news, Bobby? Uh, eventually, I'll probably get to some. I don't know. No, oh, I, nice I, was, I was, I was trying to segue. I have some E3 news. Titanfall 2 will not be at E3 this year. Wait, let me see. Let me see. Keep talking about Titanfall 2 not being Yeah. Good. So, I mean, I enjoyed Titanfall. It was kind of the first of the 
release of games that it's like multiplayer only. Um, and then after Titanfall, I got really tired of that, um, as we've talked about in our show lots. Um, so Titanfall 2 is not going to be at E3 this year. We'll see what whatever happens with it. Um, Square Enix working on an experimental new IP. We have no idea what it is. What so in, I told you to just talk about E3 stuff because I was going to talk. This is E3. This is E3. You talk about it. No, we <laughs> talk about it. I okay, so your, your turn. No, why are you closing <laughs> the window? They said it's going to be talked about at a private conference at E3, but I think the Japanese translation <laughs> from Japanese to English screwed it up. Because I think it's supposed to be their press conference at E3, not like behind closed doors private conference, because that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. You know? So, anyway, I I didn't read the rest of the article. I figured you did. Nope. I I closed the window. (laughs) I closed the window. Oh, boy. All we know is that Square Enix is working on new stuff behind closed doors, and no one knows about it. We'll find about it on Tuesday, June 16th at 10 a.m. when we're at the press conference. Uh... All right, yeah. We'll, we'll I, just keep keep following us. We'll we'll tell you all about E3 because we're gonna be there. We'll t- so. Yeah, we we all three of us will be at E3, and it's gonna be awesome. Confirmed. All three of us are going. Confirmed. Yeah, that's confirmed. Uh, all right. Well, Slasher Volume One Summer Camp Images tease murderous multiplayer. So this is like that new game that um, uh, publisher Gun. I don't uh-huh. know. Who that, I don't know what games they've made, but anyway, it's like a a, 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 a horror game. And it's supposed to be, it's inspired by, like, 1980s horror movies. It's going to be on, Fun. It's gonna be on all the major consoles, PC, Xbox One, and PS4. Um, yeah, it's called Summer Camp. It looks it looks gory and fun. So it's going to be six you know to seven you... players relying largely on stealth and evasion to survive. So there you go. Um, play there's Friday the 13th video game. Well, there's another Friday the 13th style video game that's coming out later this year on PS4, um, Until Dawn. You hear about this? That game, it was announced at E3 last year, and it looks great. It looks great. I want it to come out already. Why isn't it out? <laughs> it got a release date. I gave you a release date last show. No, it just <laughs> announced a release date two days ago. That was not two days ago. Because no. I announced it forever ago. Oh, well, I'm looking at an article that was published two days ago that says Until Dawn release date, screenshots, trailers, etc., etc., etc. Yeah. August. Okay, end of August. So well, that will excited. be fun. Yeah, that game's gonna be awesome. What? It's gonna be very, very um, high energy, super know. scary, much fun. Uh, Mortal Kombat X Tanya DLC release date has been announced. Oh. Mortal Kombat X will gain a new fighter in the form of a Danian warrior Tanya, in on June second for Combat Pack owners before becoming available for a separate purchase on June 9th. So if you bought all the fancy, super good, extra bullshit with Co- Mortal Kombat. That you get it early, but if not, you get it the next week. So, cool. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't, seen, um, I haven't watched any trailers on her or anything, so I don't know if she's gonna be good. But... I, you know, I just don't care about Mortal Kombat. I was just gonna That's... say when they were announcing all their characters once a week, like one a new character a week, I'd lost interest. I was like, come on, yeah, guys, check this. Give us something good. So, um, we all know how difficult Bloodborne is, right? What? Bloodborne, super tough, fun game. No, it's it's, it's super a easy good game. No, it is not super easy. We know this. You died a million times in that game. We saw you die a million times in that game. You shut up. Anyway, they made it easier. Why? <laughs> with the uh, with this latest patch, they fixed a lot of the multiplayer issues that they were having. Okay. Uh, they they increased blood vials and quicksilver bullets from ninety nine to six hundred. You can now store six hundred of those in your inventory instead of just ninety nine. Jesus. Too many. No, it's not. That's the perfect amount. I mean, blood vials, I go through those like candy. Like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. They changed how insight works as well. Um, instead of having to have like 10 insight to access the insight vendor, you only need one now. Oh, Hell yeah. Insight, uh, which is awesome. Game balance stuff. Uh, the enemy strength in several new game areas have been adjusted. Enemy resistance is adjusted. Uh, stamina has been adjusted with like the Kirk hammer and some other weapons. Um, yeah, uh, this update looks pretty awesome. Um, I might pick up Bloodborne this week again and, and play it because I got stuck and couldn't beat this part of the game that I'm at. So, um, 
Yeah, now that it's a little easier, I might actually beat it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sure. I don't. I haven't played it since they had the long load screens, and I got really, really irritated by that. Yeah. So, but I know they they fixed it. I know, but I mean, I'll, I'll I'll play it. I'll play it. Um, speaking of patches, did you read about the Witcher Three patch that they're coming out with? Which one? I don't know. There's like some huge big patch on the way that fixes a bunch of issues. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. There's there's been a lot of issues they've been trying to fix. We talked about that last show too. There's like yeah, their frame rate and their the graphics and some other stuff. I don't know. Here's here's the linkiness, so you can look at it too. Because you you played it, so I figured you can talk about it. Um, this whole. I linked it. I clicked it. No, that's not the right one. What did you link? Oh it? wait, hold on. Hold on. There. There. <laughs> Damn, cool. I know. Uh, let's see here. Ger Geralt will no longer interact with candles yeah. in your chest and other. Oh God, thank you. That was so annoying. So like there, are, <laughs> there are like there are candles everywhere and like fire stuff. If you got close to them, you would you can interact with them and like light the light them or take. Come on, baby, out. light my fire. Yeah, and but like it would always take priority over everything else in the world. So like we were trying, <laughs> you're trying to open a chest, but there's like a candle really close. It would totally take you forever to just get the chest open. Um, let's see, general stability and performance improvements, like I mentioned, significant enlarged GUI and heads-up display elements because everything was too small. Uh, improved camera smoothness. I didn't really have a problem with that. Performance improvements User during your some channel. cut scenes. Did you have some frame rate drops during cutscenes? Yeah, no, not during cutscenes, yeah. but um, during other things I did. Um, fixed case where a game was crashing on loading when on loading a save in certain situations. I didn't have that bug either. Various Man, that would suck. And user experience improvements in GUI panels. Fixed issue where some players were unable to run after wandering in the dark quest. Fixed issues where play. That's a lot of issues. Wow. Yeah. Right. Look at all those. Talk about a game being broken. I didn't have. I didn't have any of these issues, so I don't. I can't, anyway, I'm gonna. I can't really I'm gonna link right this. In in our chats, okay, so uh, people can see it. It didn't work for me to link it in in Hitbox. Do you have links blocked in Hitbox? Uh, maybe on accident, but whatever. Oh, okay. Uh, the stupid bot that I use does a lot of things I don't want it to still, and it doesn't work <laughs> anyway, so it's fine. Uh, fixed issue where players were unable to talk to eight after Lord of Unvic quest. Too many wild hunt minions were spawned during series story, fleeing the bog quest. Fixed issue where Kyra could sometimes fall under terrain during wandering wandering in the dark quest. <laughs> I'm wandering in the dark underneath the terrain. <laughs> yeah, that's actually funny. <laughs> Fixed issue where player was unable to move freely during blindingly obvious quest. Fixed issue where player was unable to activate portal during wandering in the dark quest. Fixed issue where player There's was There's a lot of issues about wandering in the dark quest. Castle ruin. Yeah, that, that quest must have sucked <laughs> for some people. <laughs> Fixed issue where Roach was not present at Hangman, Hanged Man's Tree during Eye for an Eye quest. Fixed issue where player was unable to talk to or interact with NPCs. Fixed an issue where Sirens in Quest of Lord of Unvic could be invulnerable. Fixed issue where players were unable to use certain actions after Carnal Sin's quest. Fixed issue where Geralt was sometimes unable to mount Roach. Fixed issue where some players were... <laughs> this is way too many issues. This is a lot of oh issues. Oh my god. Like, this is... This is... Was, this is this is unacceptable to be releasing a game with this many issues. I, we could talk about that for hours again, but I'm not going to. Uh, okay, where was I? Fixed issue where some players were experiencing. Oh, it's supposed to be were were experiencing infinite loading screens during King's Gambit quest. I heard about that one. Fixed issue where Sim was not properly spawned in an unpaid debt quest. Fixed issue where players might have had a progression break after choosing certain dialogue options when talking to. Dish or your shit a in count mm. Rim's tre treasure quest. The Pyres of Novigrad quest is of course going to be fixed as well as the XP glitch. So there's still more glitches than bugs, but they haven't fixed them all. But hey, at least they're addressing these issues. It's not like yeah, they, they like, released a broken game and they're just gonna release it as a broken game and not fix anything. Yeah, like they're, like they're the, acknowledging Hey, this stuff is broken. The next thing after all the glitches is the list is long and specific, but one of the biggest complaints is thankfully being addressed. The font size of the text is too small. Hopefully fixes the Xbox One save errors and PlayStation 4 experience gain errors. 
So. Yeah, cool. There you go. That's that list of shit show. <laughs> Man, that was that was windy. Um, winded now. So Oof. Borderlands, this is for you, Nate. Borderlands Woo. coming out with a patch where uh, legendaries drop at triple the rate. Oh, oh. God, thank you. Because like the guns, <laughs> is this the prequel? The pre-sequel? Uh, Borderlands 2, the pre-sequel, and Borderlands, the handsome collection. Just the handsome collection. Okay, that's tight. No, both yeah. of them. Both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the guns like are not very good. That's like what makes Borderlands super fun is, oh, look at the sick gun I got. But I played through... A, I, I beat the game with a gun that I got at like level like twelve. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Anyway, triple boost for legendary guns. Nice. Um, so that's fun. Uh, yeah. Um. Here we go. This 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 is um this is really right up your alley, Spencer. Oh yeah. It's got a graph and everything. Console PC gaming market estimated to earn more than a more than mobile in 2015. Hell yeah. Uh, a recent cool. report from Super Data Research estimates the global gaming market, including both consoles, PC, and mobile, will earn $74.2 billion in 2015. Of that number, a mobile is expected to earn $22.3 billion worldwide, while the com- com- combined sales of retail games, digital console games, PC downloadable content adds up to $30.3 billion. This does not include virtual reality, esports, video content, free to play MMOs, or subscription based MMOs. And there's like a little graph, and it says like retail. Everything is going to be earned uh, 19.7 billion. Um, this in the gaming, mobile is 22.3. Free to play MMO makes eight billion dollars a year. Oh my uh, god! Social media wow. games earn 7.9 billion dollars. Who uh, plays those? Really? I, I don't know. Really? Fucking weirdos, dude. Have you looked at the freaking? Go to YouTube and look at like the view counts on uh, Clash of Clans videos. It's fucking ridiculous. Okay. PC DLC earns 7.5 billion, digital consoles 3.1 billion, pay to play MMO is 2.7 billion, gaming video content is 1.5 billion, esports is 612 million, virtual reality is 225 million. Virtual reality isn't even out yet, and it's making 200 million dollars a year. That's crazy, man. Yeah. There's Google there's, cardboard. There's Google there's, cardboard. There's, <laughs> and then there's this little graph down here. Shows like all this, it's like a circle graph, and it shows you like the chunks of, of who's making what, where. That's cool. Yeah, so that's pretty crazy. <laughs> that um, is pretty crazy. That's a lot of money being made in video games. That makes me stoked for video games. Yeah, like that's that's insane. They're just if they work. Like, yeah, if they would just release really if working they games. Only work. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that's that's the hump we need to get over next. They're, they're making the money they need to. We just need to get over that games need to work thing. Totally. Um, what else was I reading about? Oh, the uh, Castlevania devs Bloodstained, his new game Bloodstained, is coming to Wii U and could get a Vita release. Igarashi. What's yep. Name? So didn't that get kickstarted like super fast, right? Uh, it made the money that it wanted in 20 minutes and broke the million dollar mark <laughs> in two days or something like that. Yeah, uh, three million forty dollars, one hundred thirty-two dollars, three million forty thousand, one hundred thirty-two dollars. I can't say numbers, but that um, numbers and and um, they have thirty-seven thousand backers. Damn. Uh, funding closes on June twelfth, so you can still back it if you wanted. And I would so. recommend it. This game's probably gonna be awesome. Anyway, it comes out. It's gonna come out to Wii U. That's that's cool that that's, they're getting a Wii U release. That's big for Nintendo. Yep. Of all the things they're doing wrong, that's the thing they're doing right. <laughs> so, um, uh, Monster Hunter. Uh, we all know Monster Hunter Four just came out not too long ago, right? Yeah. Like, right. What, like a month ago. Like two months ago, whatever it was. Yeah. I have it. On, I I haven't even played it yet. I have it on my 3DS, and I haven't I played it. Didn't buy it because it's on 3DS only, and that pisses me off. So that that yep. was my. That was my uh, protest. I'm not buying your game because you didn't put it on a big enough screen. Yeah. Well, uh, Monster Hunter, I'm going to say it. X. Boom. Uh, it's uh, Chris, dude. We already went over yeah, this. We already talked about it. It's Monster, Monster yeah. Hunter Chris. Oh, okay. Monster Hunter Chris Cross. Chris Cross. <laughs> I get it now. Oh. Chris Cross applesauce. <laughs> uh, anyway. 
Whatever the Mon is Monster Hunter Crisscross Mon just Mon got Mon 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 Hunter Mon 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 I don't know. I didn't think we needed another Mon Monster Hunter game, but okay. We need, we need, okay, we need a Monster Hunter game on Xbox One or PS4, and just <sighs> that'd be awesome. Great graphics and next gen awesomeness. That's what we really need, but we won't get it. I agree. That is what we need. Poo poo farts, baby mate. What server are you on? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to keep it down low, son. Um. <laughs> Twitch bans adult-only rated games from streaming, so the 26 titles rated adult-only are now banned from streaming. Yeah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's Manhunt 2 is adult-only? I didn't know that. It was, yeah. It was not a kid-friendly game. GTA San Andreas is adult-only? Uh, I think it became that with uh, like mods and stuff. I believe because it was originally okay. an M game, and I think they changed the rating because of something. I don't remember what though. But uh, okay, yeah, all right. It, it, I don't. I'm not the ESRB. I mean, I I, you why. I I can understand Manhunt too because there's a lot of guts and yeah. blood in yeah. it. But a lot of I mean, GK San Andreas. Eh, eh. All right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Man. I mean, I mean, I can understand all nude glamour being banned. That makes sense. Or all nude cyber, or cyber po photographer, or the joy of sex, or Playboy screensaver, the women of Playboy, all being banned. I get it. <laughs> but uh, how are those even real games? I don't understand. <laughs> or F, a fairy tale of the two. Yeah. <laughs> all right then. <laughs> F. F you, buddy. Uh, seduce me. I'm. Just, this is really funny. Playboy the Mansion, private party. That's, that's, <laughs> I feel like I'm reading porn titles. This is great. That's actually a good game. <laughs> no, I never played it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Leisure Suit Larry, Magna Come Loudly, Uncut and Uncensored. Have <laughs> you ever heard of Leisure Suit Larry? Yeah, Leisure Suit Larry is super old. Oh, man. These, anyway, good for them. This is hilarious. That's a fun list. Water closet, the forbidden chamber. Whoa. <laughs> what? Come to my water closet, <laughs> baby. That doesn't even sound sexy. <laughs> water closet. Sexy empire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, alright, alright. 26 adult only games banned from Twitch. That's what all that's about. <laughs> Can we even continue the show after that? Like, is it that's that's a good spot to end? Actually, no, 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 no. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this goes right into it. Ubisoft then retires the all-female pro gamer team Fragdolls. <laughs> How does that go into it? I don't know. Foreign. Uh, Who knows? Okay. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Sword Art Online Hollow Fragment gets new English translation on PS4. We're gonna change gears real hard. <laughs> um. So. Sword Art Lost Song will have subtitles in several languages on physical release when it comes out in PlayStation Vita this year. This is their new, um, I think it's like a sequel to Hollow Fragment. And Hollow Fragment is the remake of a PSP game, I think is what it was. I don't remember. There's a mm -hmm. long list of Sword Art games that kind of trickled into what they're doing now. But yeah, it's getting a new English translation because the translations were not good. Nobody... I don't think anybody that spoke English actually translated the game, <laughs> so they were they were awful. Like, I, 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 you can like you can look it up and find videos and stuff. And out. all your base art belong to us, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Lords of the Fallen like 2 will release in 2017. Apparently, Lords of the Fallen is a great game that I need to play because it's getting Game of the Year edition. It's getting a sequel. Um, it's apparently a great game. Never played it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, really, I think I need to get on that. Uh, yeah. So get up on this. this! Get up on Whoa. this! Here, just drop the crying baby off. <laughs> um. Well, what else? What, do we have any other news? I mean, uh, that's a lot of news that we've covered this week. Uh, yeah. You, you covered. <laughs> None of us we've covered, covered it. Word in edgewise. 
you, you're, you're talking Sally. <laughs> you're a talking Sally. Wildstar goes free to play this fall. <laughs> How do you like that? God damn it, Spencer. <laughs> the great segue. Um, uh, ukulele, they've uh, unveiled new characters for that game. Yeah, I'm they're a Kickstarter little... of that game. I'm so excited. They're li- they're called Ghost Riders. Ghost Ride the Whip. Yeah. No, writers. <laughs> writers. Like, they write they write about ghosts. Ghost like Ride show. the Whip. Ghost Rider. Yeah. So I don't that's, know. That's, that's a thing. You can look those up. They're cute little little guys. Um, Deep Sea Horror Soma launches September 22nd on PS- PC and PS4. So... That game where you're underwater and it's really scary and things happen, uh, mm-hmm. not gonna be fun times. Uh, coming out, we've got release date, so sure to see. Fun. Um, fun, fun, fun. Need for Speed reboot will require internet connection. You have to be on the internet oh. to play Need for Speed when it comes out. I'm excited. Yeah, that's alright, whatever. That's New cool. Need for Speed uh, game. I already talked about Lost Song. Oh, sorry, Lost Song comes to America this year. I already, kind of already talked about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, this is the big. This is the big story. Uh, Silent Hills publisher Konami issues apology explaining mobile first future. Ugh. Yeah. So Konami came out. They after they iced um, Silent Hills and totally ruined everything that Kojima's ever made. Um, <laughs> they kind of they were like, we are gonna do mobile games only, and like, it really pissed a lot of people off. So they made a statement, and uh, I can read this whole thing if you guys want me to. Like nah. Is it long? It's no. Kinda, it's kind of highlighted. I just. I'll, 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 I'll read. Okay, I'll read the first. Like, give me, give me the cliff notes. Yeah. Give me the cliff notes. Um, our aim is to continue to build up Crying Baby. Come on. Okay, just chill out for a second. Our aim is to continue to build up comprehensive portfolio of, of console, arcade, and card game titles for each IP, all which also making the best possible use of our mobile devices that accompany our customers in our daily life, thus expanding the limits of entertainment and appealing to more and more customers. Japan is our primary market for mobile content. So, sounds like um, this is their kind of like wishy-washy way around of what they said. And then they're like, oh, we're just doing it in Japan. It's it's fine, America. You're going to be okay. But they suck anyway. They really do. Yeah, so, I mean... Take the apology as you will. It doesn't sound like... It doesn't anything. address anything. Yeah. No, hold on. If, if, it if, doesn't if, address if, anything. If you, if, yeah, <laughs> if you actually read the whole apology, what that first paragraph is the only thing that they're actually addressing you, the problems that they were having. And it doesn't talk about their problem with Kojima. It doesn't talk about Silent Hills and the, the, the cancellation of it. It doesn't, talk about, like it doesn't talk about the, the actual future of Metal Gear, Metal Gear Solid Five. It doesn't really talk about anything that's happening inside the the background of Konami right now, which is it sounds pretty like a shit show. Yeah. That sucks. Yep. Ah! And I don't know if we talked about this game, but um Charlie sent me this game. Charlie! He bit my finger. It's called Fuck. Ark Survival Evolved. This game looks mm. Omega Awesome. Omega. Uh, let me see if I can... Ark Survival Evolved on Steam, huh? Let me see if I can play this trailer for us real quick. Me... Uh, Does it blow doors down? There's dinosaurs. There's dinosaurs it's, it's gonna blow stuff. doors down. Here, let me... It's in early access. Starts being available on June 2nd. Yeah, I was getting there. I was gonna play the trailer first, though. Ark is a huge game. Hey, shush. Oh, are you playing it? <laughs> We're going. Is that a Baja Blast? Mm. It is, yeah. Good man. So this is all taken in game. So this is what it really looks like. Oh, I've seen, I've seen this. It's, it looks super, super cool. Yeah. It's is it a MMO? Yeah, it's like an MMO survival for dinosaur. So it's like H1Z1 and prehistoric ages, eh? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of what it sounds like. A. Eh? Oh, look at that fucker! Oh, he just bit me! I'm gonna shoot him with a fucking arrow! Yeah, what are you I'm gonna, doing? I'm gonna shoot a T-Rex with a bow and arrow, that's gonna work. Oh god. Oh, he's got a... 
the thing in his arm. What is that? It's the sacred crystal. Oh. He's got the sacred yeah. crystal. Finally, somebody has it. This game oh, look at that thing. Oh, yeah. It's another look at this Jurassic Park. Oh, look at that bitch running. It's Jurassic Park the game. I Lego, wish. Lego Jurassic Park. Look at the little birds. Lego Jurassic Park sound. It will be cool. But yeah, will this, it blow doors down? This game looks fantastic. Blow doors down. <laughs> yeah, this game looks awesome. All well, if you get a compass, that's cool. That's nice. Who no. in a map? Oh, that's my favorite part. You get to ride dinos. Yeah, and not just little fucker and one little dumbass ones. You get to ride big guys too. That's awesome. Look at that dumb bird. Get fucking shanked, son. Huh? Dude, you Got you him. Can't kill dodos. They're extinct. How do you? Oh. How do you See, look at that shit. That's fucking awesome, right? No, the premise of this game is you time travel back in time, oh, and I don't know. Okay. It's the land before time, man. There's uh, dodos and shit. I'll, 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 I'll read the description here in a second because there's like a couple. Wait, can I can, can I read it? Yeah, only if you do it in your radio announcer voice. Yeah. Get the chopper. Okay, I'll, I'll read it as the trailer's going. Right as a man or woman strand, stranded naked, freezing, and starving on the shores of a sphere. Um, uh, blip, blip, blip. You interrupted me, yeah. goddammit! <laughs> Standing Start on the him. shores of a mysterious island called Ark, you must hunt, harvest resources, craft items, grow crops, research technologies, and build shelters to withstand the elements. Use your cunning and resources to kill or tame. The Leviathan dinosaurs and other primeval creatures roaming the land, and team up with or prey on hundreds of players to survive, dominate, and escape. Okay, the fact that they say hundreds of players that doesn't really vote. Um, I feel like it's gonna be like H one Z one, where it's just oh, yeah, yeah. servers and oh, you know, okay, yeah. hundreds of players sense. on a server, yeah. right? Yeah. It looks super good though. Yeah, it looks so, uh, so Dude, it's... Oh, scorpions? Oh, man. So it's H1Z1, dinosaur, uh, uh, don't dragons? starve. Oh, man, I'm gonna ride me a dragon. I'm, oh, dude, I'm taming the shit out of that dragon. Dude, that's amazing. Let that be known. I got no shame in my game. H1, so H1Z1, Jurassic Park, don't starve. Got it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Maybe that. And the description is as a man or a woman stranded naked, freezing. I just I read that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, uh, that's awesome. Trolling on the Spencer. Trolling on the Spencer. I laughed. <laughs> what a, what a girl. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Trolled uh, you. Oh, he he left. Well. Yeah. Whatever. Well, that looks fun and cool. Now it's time to blow this fucker down. So, let's go into our video game reviews. Do you have any other news or no, should we do it. game reviews? That's okay. It. I'll start with my half ass review of a game I've already reviewed three times, but. Which one are you doing again? Yeah, what? Destiny Trials of Osiris. So, this is another portion of a Destiny review, uh, specifically focused on. What is that the... picture? That's the Trials of Osiris cool... order. Yeah, that's the cool cloak you get from. Doing Trials of Osiris. Oh, Why does it look like real life stuff? That looks funny. Because Destiny... graphics are so good. Uh, you know? Graphics. Uh, graphics. Okay, so this week, uh, Josh, me, and Dave, we we competed in the Trials of Osiris. Basically, they give you a token, and it's a scorecard. So it has nine wins or three losses. Um if you complete all nine wins, then that completes the scorecard. If you get three losses while you're trying to do those nine wins, then that completes the scorecard. You turn it in, and you can get cool gear. What are you yes. playing to get these three wins or losses? Um, that's what I was going to talk about next. So, you it, you know in Call of Duty, Search and Destroy? Search and Destroy! Search and... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, Call of Duty, Search and Destroy, where you only have one life, and it's like... Like five matches, right? Yep. Okay, yeah. so this is this is kind of like that where you only have one life, but you can be revived by your teammates. It's three v three, um, and it's a two minute match, three v three, one life with revives. 
Um, if neither team has won by the end of the match, then it goes into a, a capture the point in the middle of the map. Um, and whoever oh. caps that point first wins. That's fun. Which we won a bunch of them by like both of us would just be on one side of the map. Like, okay, so we're we're hiding over here waiting for the other team to come to us. They're over there waiting for us. To see them. Um, and anyway, the two minutes would run out, and I would just like book it to the middle of the room and get to like ninety percent on the point. They would finally show up, kill me as I capped it at a hundred percent, and so I capped it hundred. I died, but we still won the match. Um, so we ended up going 10 and 0 um, and completing our, our trials scorecard with nine wins, zero losses, and it was epic and awesome. Now, if you get 9 and 0 on your scorecard, you unlock a cool new secret lobby area on Mercury called the Mercury Lighthouse. Um, and it's got amazing, cool treasures and other fun stuff to be had. Um, it looks just like, you know, the movie Sunshine. Um, it looks like that. It's really pretty and the awesome. The movie Sunshine? What is that? It's a Danny Boyle movie. Who did mm. 28 Boy. Days Later. Oh, good old Danny, Danny Boy. Boy. Um, anyway, so we unlocked the cool secret area. I was reading the stats on how many of the 16 million Destiny players have gotten to the Mercury Lighthouse, and it's only 300,000 players. Nice. Damn. So I'm in the top 1.875% of players in Destiny now. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's way to make it sound like you did everything, but yeah, okay, you. The team effort, Spencer. You should yeah, say we are effort. in the top. It's a team effort, and like the game, like, I don't know. This style of game doesn't sound like it would really be that hard. It's 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 the most intense Destiny PvP I've ever done. But you didn't do anything. You just literally told but... us you stood on one side of the map and no. the timer ran out, and then you ran to the middle. No, that was actually <laughs> That's what you just said. A couple of times that happened, but okay, for the most okay, part, it's all strategy. Okay, the whole thing like, is strategy. Okay. Where it's like, okay, I have like we're we're defending an area. Okay, I got movement on the left. Oh shit, they're trying to flank us on the right too. Like trying to figure out the strategy behind how to actually win nine and zero. Oh. Is it Not just one map? A single loss. Yeah, it's one map um, every week. So they change it every week. Oh. Um, but That's anyway. Cool. There's some super crazy strategy behind it, and it was so much fun. We did this for like six hours, and anyway, it was great. So Trials of Osiris, um, Destiny, Bungie released a press release statement saying that there's a bunch of people who were hacking Trials of Osiris, and they are going to put the perma ban hammer on um, people they have found hacking Trials of Osiris like that. Are they going to um, perma ban the account or perma ban the IP? address uh probably the account hmm. so whatever they can i mean but the account is linked to that gamer tag so i mean that's true yeah so it, anyway heroes right now what no <laughs> i can hear you clicking i'm sorry <laughs> anyway I, I find it cool that that bungie's being proactive in in uh banning hackers and cheaters and stuff um, I mean, a couple times we, we ran into an issue where the um, the opposing team dropped connection. And so we were the only team that loaded in and we got an instant win, like a, basically a free win because the other team lost connection. That's nice. So that happened a couple times. That's pretty good for you guys. Uh, but I don't know if that's considered cheating. Like, did we cheat by loading into that game where the other team dropped? I don't know. <laughs> well, no, that's not your fault. Like, that just sounds like it yeah. either... Either their server messed up and didn't load them in, or they were all on the same like uh, connection and the connection just dropped. Yeah, that doesn't that's not your fault? That's, that sounds more like a bungee issue than yours. So anyway, um, uh, we, me, Josh, and Dave are in the top one point eight seven five percent of all players well, in Destiny. To be fair, Josh is in the top one percent, probably in the top like point one percent of Destiny players. Yeah. yeah. He's really good, but it was fun. It was it was super strategy oriented and like like playing the defense game. That's how we won it. That was our strategy behind it was defend three points, like the three entry points to our side of the map. Wait for them to to come to us. If they weren't coming to us, then we try to rush them. And uh, anyway, we did it. Ten and zero. We did it. It was lots of fun. Flawless victory. Are you gonna? 
give it a rating or are you just gonna talk about that and that's it i was just gonna talk about it oh, wait, that's cool. it oh that's fine yeah there's there's no rating for that because it's just part of the pvp in the game uh it's you were talking about earlier how destiny was like people are saying that it's too pvp oriented now because of this yeah apparently like there's a thing going around that people are upset okay we gotta understand as gamers are little babies they're a bunch yes, of babies they are. we complain about everything and nothing's gonna ever be good enough for us and mm-hmm. we accept that as an inevitability a lot of people are upset now because they did all this PvP stuff, the, all the Trials of Osiris, the exclusive area, and all this other stuff for PvP, but they didn't really do anything for PvE. So a lot of people are upset. What do you mean? What? That's what no. It says. That's what it says, man. I'm just I'm just telling you what the people are complaining about. I'm not they complaining added. About Don't oh yell my at me. god! Don't yell at me, man. No, no, no! I'm yelling at everybody <laughs> who's complained about Destiny <laughs> not having PvE. They added the entire Prison of Elders. Like, there's a level 28, level 32, 34, and 35 versions of Prison of Elders, and you can't even get to level 35, so it's forced to be difficult. Hey, Spencer. Fuck you, gamers. Spencer. I hate you. Spencer. Hate you. Remember when I said hate you. Ga- gamers are babies? <sighs> <laughs> I went over this with you before you even started ranting. But yeah. That, hate him. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> that's your protest. You just leave the room real quick. Yep. All right, well, that's cool. Anyway, Destiny, that Trials of Osiris, lots of fun. I can't wait for next week's map. So Next week's map is going to be babies. No, next know. week's map! All right, well, I'll go. I'll talk about Sky Saga. It's, uh, Sky Saga. It's in uh, Alpha or Beta. I don't remember which one. It's Alpha Beta. Access. It's in Alpha Beta. It's early access. Um, the game is kind of Minecraft clone. But with MMO, um, full on like integration, because there's a social hub you can go to, and you can see every other player in the game, not just like on your server. So that's really cool. Um, a, a kind of a complaint that I had was that uh, when you're mining, it's super slow. You're like, coon, coon. <laughs> one of the big cool things about Minecraft was it's like. Gah, 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 gah. And you can just get everything you need. Um, there's a lot of MMO elements to it as well. Like there's quests you can get. There's um, you can like go you craft things like in Minecraft. Uh, basically, what they did was they took everything that everybody wanted Minecraft to be and tried to do it. Um, kind of successfully, but I mean, like I said, it's an alpha, beta, whatever it's in. I can't really tell you all about it or like what's gonna happen. Because there are a lot of parts, there are a lot of things in the game that weren't accessible. There's a PvP area where you can sign up and you go in and PvP against other players. Um, there's an adventurer's guild where you can do quests for them. There's a builder's guild where you do quests for them. And then there was a bunch of other stuff that wasn't able to go to. Mm-hmm. Um, for what I played, though, it's going to be a great game. So I would look out for that when it comes out. I don't know when it's coming out. There's no release date for it at this point. But, yeah, there you go. That's Sky Saga so far. Shock. Shock. Shock, bro. No rating? No, I'm not going to read it because, yeah, like I said, it's alpha, beta. But if I were to give it one, I'd probably give it a lower jacket. Seven. Seven? I'll throw the seven at it. Because, I mean, it, like I said, it, the mining was really slow, which made the game play really, really slow. Um, I didn't play the PvP thing. And there's no real, like, there's not a whole lot of guidance in the game. It's kind of just like... All right, go do this. And you're like, okay, here I go, maybe. And you have to kind of figure <laughs> it out. But it, it was it was it was fun when I played it. So awesome. Yeah, there you go. That's one of my games this week. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nate, do you have anything? I do, sort of. I to find Currently sort of playing. <laughs> it's a game he's been playing the whole time we've been playing. Boom. Yep. Clicker arrows. Clicker hero. Uh, so I found this game today about. I don't know, 11 o'clock. It's currently 4 o'clock. I've been playing it the whole time. <laughs> it's pretty dumb, pretty simple. Like, that's based the, the basically level 1, you have to click the enemy to kill it. And you earn gold, and you use that gold to buy other heroes that do permanent, like, deeps over time. And the more gold you earn, you can level them up, and you unlock different heroes. Um, right now, I'm on level 4. Like I'm on level 50 or level actually 49. Every five, every five levels is a boss. 
that is timed. So you have to com like combine clicking with your all your perm like your permanent DPS guys and try to kill the dude within a certain amount of time. And if you don't do it, then he just resets level or he resets his health and you have to try it again. Um, I've what I've found out is that those guys are super fucking hard, and I'll have to spend like 20 minutes just farming the level before getting gold and up uh, upgrading my dudes. Um, some guys, after you level them up to a certain level, they have like permanent ability unlocks like this one has automatically performs 10 clicks per second for 30 seconds the other one is 100 dps 100 percent dps for 30 seconds um there's another one that's 50 percent critical chance for 30 seconds and there's like cooldowns on them there's i think there's 10 skills all together all unlocked from the heroes as you level them up so that premise is pretty cool uh like i was talking to bobby you don't like the game i'm at the point where now the game pretty much plays itself because I can just minimize it in the background, and their health slowly drains because my permanent, all my guys are leveled up pretty high, and they just da do the damage for me. I can click, I can click as well and uh, do some extra damage, but I don't know. It's not, it's not like very difficult. It's definitely like a time sink. Like Bobby's saying, you just play it in between queues of games. Like you're playing League, you're queued up, just wasting time clicking away. I don't know if you've seen my dumb face earlier. I was trying to do a boss, so I was like mega clicking, <laughs> trying to trying to go ham on it, and it's still too hard for me. So I mean, I wasn't very sold on it at first. Like I was like, this game's stupid. It's super simple, like not a like depth. But I've been playing it for like six hours. So who's the stupid one? <laughs> uh, Does it actually matter how fast you click? Yeah, like the more times you click, you get like it does damage over like each time you click. Yeah, and it also like, has stats. Right now, uh, there's. I do Brr. six. I'm doing six damage. It's all yeah, I no, do. it's super early levels. My my biggest advice would be to upgrade the Sid, the Helpful Adventure, the very first person you get, because that increases your click damage. Um, but yeah, oh, it has like seven. it has achievements and stuff, achievements and stats. Uh, my most clicks per second is 24 clicks per second. That's pretty good. I'm hey. pretty impressed with that. Um, so far my total clicks have been 60,046, which is kind of ridiculous. Uh, if you want a game to burn out your mouse really quick, this is probably the one. <laughs> I thought that was supposed to be Diablo. Oh, this Dude, is this is worse. this is way worse. Uh, I mean, it's it's cool, it's neat. Like the the upgrade system of the heroes has really kind of hooked me. Like I want to upgrade these guys, and because they get stronger, they have neat little like stats that tell you the percent of like DPS they're actually doing. So you're like, well, I want to upgrade this guy, but he's only doing ten percent, or I should save and upgrade this guy who's doing thirty percent. Like that's kind of cool. Um, I think it's there's a free free to play aspect of it too. I see like a shop you can buy rubies. Fuck that noise! Like that's <laughs> stupid. But um, yeah, for like a surprise, like didn't know about it, just picked it up this, today. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's like it's a good time sink in between other games. It's not like not very deep. Game. Yeah, so you're hooked. Game. You're fucking hooked already, yeah, man. You're, how long have you been playing it already? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. And like you can just like I said, as soon as you start getting some of your, your heroes to do good deeps. Like on the in the background, you know, like I I just minimized it and went to the store and came back and it just kept going. So yeah, you, just, yeah, you just earn money while you're not there, right? Yeah. So it's cool. Um, shit. If I don't know, I kind of feel bad giving it a score. I've only played six hours, but I feel like I've seen seen the game. Yeah, I I I give it a lumberjack as well, a seven. Like it's not, it's it's got charm. It's the the character design is cute and the animation's fun. Uh, the gameplay is pretty fucking simple, but it's addicting. So that's it's got that going for it. It has that like, ooh, I want to get the you know earn enough gold so I can level this guy up more and then do more damage. So oh, yeah, yeah. This, this guy at level fifty is hard, man. Oh, you're at fifty? Hell yeah, that guy sucks. Big feats. Yeah. So yeah, level. I'll give it a, a lumberjack beard, a solid seven. <laughs> we're you're looking for we're just playing mini game. game while we're reviewing it. Yeah, it's, yeah, I mean it's so simple. Like yeah. you don't like, you don't need to do anything. You it's just gotta mindless. fucking click. Yeah, it's mindless. So it's fun though. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Give it a shot. It's free to play. I mean, check it out. Yeah. All right. That's it. You fuckers, pay attention cool. now. Yeah, I'm, Quit I'm playing. Here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> I think I'm here. I'm here. All right. Do you want to talk about that other game, Spencer? Or do you want me to go next again? Um, I mean, I can talk about. Uh, you you go again because right. you have three games, right? All right. So this new new MOBA came out called uh, Games of Glory. Um, it's 
based on it's like you know top down not third person like smite and all this stuff so it's kind of like league of legends camera angles but it's based on uh shooters you have guns instead of anything else so you buy guns and you can upgrade the gun you get and upgrade by different guns and stuff like that um you get a gun and a melee weapon and you can switch between them anytime you want and you just fight other players um the game type is cool there you get um what's it called when you just get gold you don't have to do anything what's that called um whatever you get gold all the time you earn gold without doing anything passive um, passive income. gold thank you and that. um so uh, you, you earn passive gold but there's points on the map that if your team takes then you start earning more gold than the other team so there's three gold points and then there's um like a nexus thing you have to kill and then there's two turrets and then there's a shield that guards the turrets and there's three points in the map there's one in the middle and one on each one on, like right next to each base when you control the points you it starts to tear down their shield and once their shield hits zero you can go kill their turrets and then you kill their nexus thing and then you win there are no minions there's no there, there's minions because okay when the gates open to the thing you go in you do it and then they'll close if you don't get the shield down in time they'll just close and you have to wait till they open again and then minions will spawn in there and you can kill those but there's like five or six of them and that's it those are the only minions you get through the whole game otherwise it's just all passive gold um you can buy like little <laughs> sorry <laughs> that face <laughs> you, you can buy like little upgrades that uh increase attack power increase um ability things and that face and then you can buy things that upgrade both at the same time stuff like that they're like little like um there's like little cubes you can upgrade in your whole your character with but the main aspect is that you start with a basic gun and then you earn some money and you can buy the next level gun and you can buy the next level gun and then ultimately there's all the mega guns but they're really not that good um interesting thing about this game is that while you are like in um, just like the lobby not doing anything there's all chat global chat going mm -hmm. so you can actually like, talk to all the players that are playing so that's kind of cool but kind of tell them how bad they are yeah and <laughs> when you're in the in-game lobby like uh, selecting like, the, the character you want to use there is all chat in that too so you can just talk shit the whole time so it's a good and bad thing it's kind of like <laughs> you can be like oh have fun or you know everybody else is just gonna be like your mom sucks balls in hell and stuff like that. Yeah, so, fuck your mom. Um, the volumes in this game were awful. I had the, the volumes. Yeah, I had it down like to one percent, and it was too loud. I could not like really function playing this game because everything was too loud. And you turn everything down, and everything's still too loud. And you turn it down more, and it just it was bizarre. I have never had a, never had that happen to me in anything before. Um, there was gigantic lag nothing in this it wasn't playable because of the lag hell yeah I could not play this game i played five or six matches and the, all of them i could not do anything and i just it was just bad um i don't know if it's an early access still or if it's released now but they they run the elo system and you don't have to play ranked to earn elo it's just all as you play you earn elo and you keep going and climb ladders and whatever um but you couldn't play the game because it lagged so much in na I think their servers are in Europe because if you look up the game and all the stuff, everybody's talking in like French and stuff like that. So I think they're they're a European based game that kind of got dragged over here, and we can't play the game because it lags too much. Hell yeah! Yeah, you're running at like 200 to 250 ping the whole time, and that's not something you can work with. No. Uh, I'm I'm gonna be really harsh on this game because if you're gonna release a game and all regions it should work i'm yeah. looking at the selic because the selic that's like our lowest score i think we've had yeah it's a three it didn't oh. work the characters were bland the guns are not cool the support classes are shady at best like nothing in this game was fun to me and if i'm gonna play a moba i'm just gonna go play league of legends hell yeah true that real man's game <laughs> real man's game uh and Sanctum 2, Spencer, go. Shoot. Get Sanctum it. 2! Yeah. Mm -hmm. I saw, I saw that. Uh, 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 all right, so, uh, I'm a fan of tower defense games. Uh, I, I like them. I love TODs, bro. 
Me too. Like, started playing them on my phone. Man, this is really fucking distracting right now. Hey, Sue, just the minimize it. <laughs> see? See? You were just talking how bad this game was, and now you can't stop playing it. I'm gonna play it. You talk about games, I'm gonna play it. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm a big fan of tower defense games. Um, this basically takes the tower defense model and puts it into first person shooter mode. So you build up like a, a good pathway of defense and towers and stuff. You can only build a certain amount. Um, and then enemies spawn and you try not to let them hit your goal. And that's, that's basically the entire it's a TV, game. Yeah. It's a tower I'm defense playing. game, man. Yeah. But first person shooter. So you, oh. can, you can also shoot the, uh, the enemies and help the DPS. So, so it's okay. So it's like the, I don't know if you've ever played Warcraft three, but the, there's a huge modding community in that and totally. like custom games. And they had something similar. It was just, you would just take control of a hero and said, you could still build towers, but then you'd get like Illidan or some fucking random hero from the game. And like, you could use that guy to go out or they'd fucking, they change it up and you'd be like a pig or some shit, just some random character model. That sucks. But yep. yeah, no, it's, it's super fun though. It's like League of legends with tower defense. It's neat. Totally, it's it's similar. Um, Dota's but, more likely, but but this is this takes it into first person shooter, which I yeah, really that's cool. Because um, I mean, you're actually there fighting the mobs, like, and they can hurt you, and you can die, and you only have like three lives. Um, it's also multiplayer, so you can play with like I think up to four friends, like you plus three or more friends. Um, nice. So so that's really fun. Um, you kind of share and split all the resources between all of you. Yeah, and um, all your money you can donate to one player so they can build everything the way they want to. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Yeah. If, if it's like, oh, I know a really good strategy for this level, then, you know, that makes it a little easier. Shut up and take my money. Yeah. Um, anyway, I I give this... Um, I mean, overall, it's, it's a fun game. Uh, I give it a Grandpa Beard. Nice. Mm, good old eight. What do you, what, I mean, you played it with me, Bobby. What would you give it? Um, God damn, you guys playing MOBAs without me again? You sons of bitches. It's a MOBA? MOBA? Dude, it's a, it's, it's it's a, a tower defense, defense game. game. Oh, that's right, we should that. You play games without me? Ah! Speaking of that, hey, Spencer, I don't have your game library on my Steam anymore. We'll talk about that later. Um, oh. <laughs> I, 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 could, I could get down with the Grandpa Beard. I mean, yeah. there's nothing real special about it. Uh, the reason I really wanted to play it is to... Get ready to for Tower Defenders Two, Better Dungeon Defenders Two. Mm -hmm. Is that game's kind of the same thing, but only um, third kinda, person? Yeah, third person, cartoony, fun. We yeah. played that. We played the first one, didn't we? Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the second one's gonna be out on PS4 and all that stuff when it actually comes out. There's no release date on that yet, but really want to play that. Looks like much fun. Gonna play it. Gonna fart. Heck oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. What is this? Cool. Oh, that's the MCMSI. <laughs> uh, am I, okay, last thing I got to say is Terra. Free to play MMO. Um, Do I have this in my library? I don't know. Probably should because it's great. So it's a lot of fun. Anyway, Terra. Uh, free to play MMO. Uh, it kind of plays like an MMO. You know how you pick a character, create a character, and classes and stuff. Uh, ah, I was in crit. Oh, I'm stupid. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so in Terra, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven races. Human, Kastanic, they're like uh, like demon kind of class. Um, Aman is kind of like these weird lizard people. Uh, Popori is like uh, cute little animals. You can make like a panda, dogs, cats, ferrets. Um, the Ellen are like the cat bunny class of the game. Uh, Baraka are these big giant stone dudes. And high elves, which are elves, which everybody knows what those are. Uh, if you've played any RPG ever in the history of games. Um, there are a lot of classes. Their most recent class they just added with this last uh, update when they threw it on Steam and all that stuff um, was the gunner class. You carry this massive giant gun that looks like... Um, what's that thing from Mass Effect where you travel through space? The Mass Effects. <laughs> yeah, the Mass Effects. Thanks, Spencer, for your input. I'm trying to think of the name. I don't. Don't you fucking lie to us! I can see you focusing. You're playing clickers. Okay, whatever it is, the thing that like opens like what? this, and it's got like the two things and the ball in the middle. And you yeah, it's a ma dude, those are called Mass Effect relays. Yeah. Mass Effect relay. Thank you. The relay. That's what I was. That's for. exactly what Nate said. He just said Mass Effects. Whatever. Thought, it's a Mass. Effect. I, I thought he was just calling it Mass Effects because the game's Mass Effect. Nah. Anyway, 
The Mass Effect Relay. They look, they look kind of like those, but only the size of your body, and you carry it around and are expected to be able to shoot this thing. And it's, <laughs> like all, all of all of the gunner moves are very over the top. Like there's one that shoots across the ground and like blasts you backwards, and it's got like a shotgun effect and it like spreads out. But it, uh, I haven't played a gunner class because everybody made a gunner class because it's a new class and everybody's playing it. So um, there's that one. There's a berserker who carries the two-handed giant axe. A Lancer, who's the Lance and Shield tanky class. A Slayer, who carries a two-handed sword, supposed to be like a burst D uh, DPS. Warrior, who's a two-handed, or two swords, and it's like a evasion tank burst uh, DPS. There's a Sorcerer, who carries this, or has, has this disc that kind of spins around them and you know, cast spells. Uh, Archer, who is pretty self-explanatory, you're an Archer. Uh, Mystic is um, like a, the buff class. You use auras, buffs on your their teammates and like the bard. Yeah, and make them more powerful and stuff like that. And then there's the priest, which is your basic healer class. Um, what kind of sets this game apart from other MMOs is that there's a lot of customization. There's a lot of extra style of customization. You can have your own costumes, which a lot of games are doing now, but you can also have weapon skins. And like armor skins you can put on. Um, those, are, like, those cost money. You can you can get them in game, but you you can buy. Oh, them. nice! You can buy them too if you want to. There's a lot. Mm -hmm. There is a store you can buy a lot of the. They call it EMP, and they got to make their money somehow. Yeah, yeah. So you buy the EMP, and there's a store you can spend all the EMP on and whatnot. Um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. The dungeon that I've done, because I mean I've only been playing it for a week, so I haven't really gotten that far. And I've made three different characters to try classes. Um, the dungeon we played was very, very simple and very, very easy, which is kind of bad because there was a part where, when I was playing with um, Webhead, we were Balake. Playing... <laughs> you want to go to war, Balake? Um, <laughs> we were playing, and his mouse died, and so we were fighting a boss. His mouse died. We. He kind of like got back in it, and then he healed the two guy, one guy that died, and resurrected him, and he healed the other guy. And then he was like, "Hold on," and then I waited, and they all just left. So it was three man destruction squad of the whole dungeon by themselves after the first boss, until we got to the last boss, and they pretty much had cleared the whole thing by themselves. So it's pretty easy. You don't need you could probably three man the whole thing if you're careful and can dodge really well. Um, there's it's all um, skill based skill shots. You can't just click and point. It you have to aim. Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, so you get a little cursor. In the well, huh? Yeah, yeah, you get a like, little cursor in the center of the screen, and you have to aim all of your attacks. Your basic attack, um, your abilities, they're all skill shot based. So you can't just point click and then okay, pushing buttons on the keyboard. You actually have to be in the game, paying attention, dodging, and doing all the stuff. Um, what else is there? Um, the character designs are cool. Yeah, I saw you making a ferret. Yeah, I made, I made a big little fat ferret guy. Uh, hmm. The the that class, the pulpery, they're all really short, stocky, fat things, but you can just change the way their faces. Um, and is there like um, like class restrictions per whatever race you choose? Yeah. Um. That's Gunners can only be high elves in the Ellen, I think, is what it was. No, no, the the Stanic and the high elf, whatever. You, they're 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 um base uh, classes and races and stuff. Hmm. I, forgot, I forgot to mention a, a, a class. It's called uh, Reaper. You can you have to level forty to be the Reaper, and they can only be the Ellen, the cute little cat bunny people. Aww, nice. Yeah. And they get these giant, like, chain swords. There are two of them. They kind of look like Akali's weapons, but they have chains on them, and they, like, swing them out. So, and like, God of War style? It's, it's, it's God of You basically become Kratos. Fuck yeah. yeah. But you're, like, a ferret. No, you're, like, little bunny. Like, oh. Little bunny ears class. I don't... I, yeah. They're not... Not the, the fat, stocky, popery guys. Mm. But you have to have a level 40 to make it, so it's kind of like the Death Knight in World of Warcraft. Uh, I don't really know what else to say because I mean that's as far as I've gotten in the game, so it's really hard to. Do you have a rating review for it, or are you I mean, still what playing? I've, what I've played, I'd give it a Grandpa Beard. I'll give it the eight because I mean, nice. it doesn't do anything that any other MMO hasn't done. 
this is a, this is a uh, sexy MMO. You, your character has very much cleavage. So the less the less armor you look like you have, the more armor you actually have. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the picture I got, that's probably like yeah. end, end game armor right there for the two sworded uh, evasion tank. What about Blade and Soul? I can't wait for that. <laughs> oh yeah, now that it's actually getting a North America release. I stopped playing uh -huh. it in Japan. In Japan. In I stopped playing in Japanese. In, in the Japanese. Japan, the Japanese uh, version because there's no point in playing it in that anymore if they're gonna if it's yep. actually getting released soon. From what it sounds like, it's going to be. Mm -hmm. So there it is, man. There's Terra. Terra's a lot of fun. Go check it out many times to do. Archer okay. class, here I come. I made one. They're very cool. They're fun. Cool. I made, um, I made, I made an archer, a slayer, and a warrior. Slayer. slayer anyway, it's been... <laughs> Dude, every time you say really slayer, I always think of Rain of Blood. <laughs> this has been a good show today. It's been a lot of fun, yeah. Should we talk uh, about Clicker Heroes? Let's yeah. talk about new releases. Are <laughs> we talking about new releases or just play Clicker Hero for the next 20 minutes on stream? Well, <laughs> we can do that too. All right, let's go. <laughs> Oh, think, all right. New releases for June. Um, June first, Massive Chalice comes out on Xbox One and PC. I'm excited. And it's there. It's the Xbox Gold game. We were talking about it earlier in the show. So it's gonna be free on Xbox. I feel like my Hell mouse yeah. isn't very good for this game. Yeah, I need to download uh, a, an auto clicker. Right. Actually, you know what you could do. Uh, not talking about new releases. Anyway, you could get um, <laughs> X Patter. You get X Patter. Oh my god, I have to try this. Uh, get x Patter, link it to one of your controllers, and when you push A, just make it turbo click a million times, because you can do that. Dang, that's oh, pretty Oh man. Cool. Anyway, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try that next. I'm totally Have you beat him? You beat him? Yeah. Fuck you. Alright, well, so... I have, I have, like, everybody's level 100 all the way up to Mercedes such as a blade, so... Oh, really? So, anyway, Massive Chalice <laughs> comes out on June 1st. The Escapists comes out on PS4 only on June 2nd, so Tuesday. Uh, Heroes of the Storm on PC June 2nd, official release. It's free to play right now, so why not go play it yeah, before the beta? Yeah, hurry, hurry, hurry up and get uh, highest rank you can because, you know, there's a ranking system in a beta game. Still yeah. pisses me off. Yeah, totally. Lord of Magna, uh, Made in Heaven, comes out on 3DS on June 2nd. I don't even know what that is. JRPG or something. Uh, Adventures of Pip, uh, Pip, Pip PC on June 4th. You Must Build a Boat comes out on PC, Mac, Linux, iOS, and Android on June 4th. <laughs> you Must Build a Boat? What are you, Noah? Yeah, like what? Am I playing Bible game now? What is yeah, this, right. What is this little bee guy? What are you? Um, D4, uh, Dark Dreams Don't Die comes out on PC. I've heard good things about this game, actually. What is it called? Um, Dream Door? D4, D4, Dark Dreams Don't Die. It's a PC-only game. Oh, okay, I get it. Dark Dreams Don't Die. Four words with the letter D. Got it. Yeah, it's coming out on Xbox One later on this year. Um, but this is, I think, the PC release of it this week. Um, it's going to be a Kinect game for Xbox. So, um, that's fine. I I think it might be a. I mean, there's there's lots of costumes and and other stuff for it. Um, like we'll see. DLC costumes or like in game. Yeah, or... DLC costumes. It's only like three bucks for like a, a costume set or something. I don't know. Um, oh, this is too much for my blood. Let's see. D four. I don't. I don't really know what it's about. But is it on Steam? A, I don't know. PC edition. Enter site. Coming 6-5-2015. Anyway, I, I, it's about D4. What is D4? With oh, 1.3 million downloads on Xbox One. It's coming to PC. Do you want me to just play a trailer? Yeah, sure. Play the trailer. Hold on. Let me... Let me uh... What's the max level you can get these like characters to? I don't know. <laughs> beep beep. Trailer now. Yeah. What are you do? What are you laughing at? Oh. 
Uh, yeah, it's just showing your stream. It's just showing yeah. Steam. There we go. That dude's like, yeah, sort of. It's really laggy. What if I don't want to? There you go. There's that game. Woo! Popular user defined tags for this product adventure, casual, indie, great soundtrack. Cool. So there you go. That's a thing. It's a thing. It's a thing, Umber Bob. Well, anyway, that <clears throat> honorable mentions for this next month. Uh, Elder Scrolls Online coming out on consoles on Two June 9th. Unlimited. Um, Lego Jurassic World comes out on consoles and PC and everything on June 12th. Uh, the release of the movie Jurassic, Jurassic World. Uh, Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition comes out later on this month. The Batman Arkham Knight, Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. And that kind of covers this entire month. So. And E3! And of course E3. We're, we'll be there at E3 and we'll be covering it. The dream. Uh, some stuff live and some stuff after the fact. Uh, we'll, we'll be doing nightly reviews on stuff we've seen throughout the day. Um, and it will be lots of fun. So join us that week of E3. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yo. Yo. I, well, we'll probably stream like every night that, that during that whole thing, right? Like Totally. Cool. That's I mean, yeah, we'll, we'll probably but for three days. Yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, we can just we'll just stream it. Stream our uh, what we did, what we're allowed to talk about, what we can't talk about. What we can't, I don't know. We can't I don't know what we can and talk about. about. Yeah, I know that's. But we'll 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 find out. We'll probably have to sign like disclaimers when we do stuff and the fun things that you have to do when you test things that aren't supposed to be released or talked about. Yeah. Oh God, I can't beat this boss. Which one? Which what, yeah? Which, which level? Level fifteen. Mm. Yeah, level fifteen. He just started like five minutes ago. Girl, get on my level, Spencer. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> uh, there's too many clicks, guys. <laughs> Is that it or what? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna set up my X pattern. Well, okay. Anyway, <laughs> it's been a it's been a fun show. It's been a long it's one, dude. Show. The, the, we, this was the shit show show. We didn't. We, this was the most distracted we've ever been about anything ever. So, sorry, guys. We had fun. All hey, right. it's been lots of fun this yeah, week. Yeah, no, we had fun. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not complaining. Well, I'm not, I, I'm I mean, it's been a, complaining. it's a long <laughs> show, but we've all had fun. Yeah, that's what matters. We, we have people talking to us. People I enjoyed that. People in chat though. because they chat and they fart on each other. Oh, yeah? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Who are you to judge? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. I don't know, man. You're nobody. I'm level 54. Man, I'm never gonna be able to beat the boss at 55. Little oh boy. Man, these guys are just. It takes. I, I've been fighting the same bat this whole time that I've been talking about. Oh! So, I'll never be able to beat that boss. It's time to save money. Okay. Saving the money. <laughs> we're we're still we on go. the show. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to set this up. Okay, okay. No, you, 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 we can stop. That's fine. Oh my god. Look at what I just set it up to do. A is my click button now. Did it click once or what? Um, I, I can set it to click once. Let's see. Uh, advanced. Turbo. Um, <laughs> enabled. Do 50 clicks per second. 50 Jeez. clicks per second. Thank you for the follow, Retro Game. Oh my god! This is great! 
<laughs> oh, you, you, man. Have, you have such a good evil laugh. Why don't you use that more? <laughs> See what I mean? Like, that's good. Oh, my God. This is so much fun. I don't know if you know how much fun this is. No, I don't. You're going to have to you're gonna show me that for the show. You're going to set me up. I have to set it up for all of this because I want in, I want in on the dream. 50 clicks a second. A dream. I am clicking 50 times per second. And I just tapped A once. <laughs> oh. I just tapped A once. Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you guys. This is great. Okay, oh, we can yeah, stop the yeah, stream. Yeah, let's we'll wrap this up. <laughs> we'll see you all next week. Follow us uh, on next Sunday. We have a YouTube channel. Make sure you check out. We have all the shows posted on there. Um, we Ooh. stream all week long. All of our stream links are down below us on on uh, Twitch. If you're watching on Hitbox, you're watching my stream right now. So you can just follow me there. Um. Uh, is that it? Is that everything? That's it. Is that our goodbye? That's it. Is that our goodbye this time? I would say that's our goodbye. We'll see you guys later. Thanks for joining.